Hi! In this video, we'll show you how to use GPT, the brain behind ChatGPT, to answer your clients' questions in Slack without visiting the ChatGPT webpage. Let's get started. As usual, we have to start with setting up trigger. Our trigger will be new direct message in Slack. Click the plus sign to add new module and look for Slack. Now we need to choose a specific trigger. What we're looking for is the new event option. It's an instantaneous trigger, so it will activate our scenario immediately after the event occurs. Go ahead and click New Event from the list of triggers. Now we need to create a webhook. Click the Create a Webhook button. Name your webhook and select New IM Message from the drop-down menu for the event type. Also, make sure you have two Slack accounts, one for yourself and one for your AI assistant. If you already use Slack, you already have an account. You just need to create another one for your AI assistant. Before clicking the Create a Connection button, make sure you are logged in the browser with your AI Assistant account. Make needs permission to access the Slack workspace. Click Allow. Now just fill in the field for connection name and click on Save, then click OK. Now let's test the trigger. Right-click the Slack module and choose Run this module only. Let's jump on Slack. Log in using your own credentials and start a chat with your AI assistant. Go ahead and type a test message and send it. Now, let's go back to Make to check the result. Pay attention to the user output, which represents the ID of your Slack user account. We'll need it later, so make sure to save it. Now let's add OpenAI module. This module will be responsible for generating answers to our clients' questions. If you already have created the OpenAI connection, simply choose it from the drop-down. If you don't have it yet, now is the time to add it in order to be able to use GPT. To create an OpenAI connection, you're going to need an account on OpenAI. Once you have an account, go to Settings to get the organization ID. To set up a connection with OpenAI, you will also need API keys. You can find them under User API Keys. Click Create New Secret Key and copy it. Now, once you have a connection with OpenAI, choose Model from the drop-down. I'm going to choose GTP 3.5 Turbo. It's much faster than GPT-4, cheaper and totally sufficient for our needs. Next, click Add Item. Now, choose the role for the new message. It's going to be System. Messages with this role are usually general instruction on how the GPT should behave and what is its job. The instruction we paste in Message Content field. I want my assistant to answer basic questions of my clients, so I don't have to think about how to write an email too much. In the instruction, I provided the context as well as instructions on how the answer should be formed. Now, we need to add another message in which we'll ask the question. This time, select User as the role. This role represents user messages sent to GPT. The question should contain the text from the Slack message. After that, click OK. Remember when I mentioned that we're going to need our user ID? We're going to use it now. Click the wrench icon between the modules and click Set up a filter. We need this filter because now the scenario will be triggered every time a message appears in your private conversation with your AI assistant. The problem is that not all the messages are yours. There will also be answers from your assistant, which would trigger the scenario and lead to your assistant answering her own answers, causing the whole scenario to end up in a loop. To avoid this, we want to use the filter so that only messages sent by you and not by your assistant will be passed through. In the Condition field, choose User, then leave the default option as text operators equal to, and in the next field, paste your user ID. Finally, click OK. Now we need to add another Slack module. This one's going to be in charge of sending the response from OpenAI directly to the private chat with the AI assistant. This time, choose Create a Message. Now you need to choose which account to connect to Slack. What you need is your AI Assistant connection. We have already used it in the Trigger module, so you can use this one. But based on my experience, I recommend creating a new one, even though it's still the same type of connection to the same account. The thing is, something funny happens to the permissions when you use the same connection for the Create eMessage answer, and the action simply doesn't work as expected. Now let's configure the Slack module. Set the channel type to IM channel. Then, from the User drop-down, select your own username. Make sure to choose your username and not the AI Assistant's username. In the Text field, enter the answer from OpenAI. After that, click 
OK. Now it's time to test if the module that is supposed to send the answer works as expected. Right-click on the Slack module and choose Run This Module Only. Let's write a test message and then click OK. If everything went smoothly, we should be able to see the test message from the AI Assistant. We're almost done. Save and turn on the scenario for the ultimate test. Now let's send to the client's questions to get the answer that we can copy and paste with minor tweaks into the email thread with our client. And we've received the answer based on the context that was provided earlier in the prompt. And that's it. Now you've got your very own AI assistant to help you prepare answers for your client's questions. No need to overthink or waste time wondering if these are the right words to use. Plus, you can easily communicate with her through Slack, which is extra convenient if you're already using it daily. Join my newsletter for tools and automation tips to build and automate your digital solo empire. Sign up at solonata.com. See you in the newsletter.